Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Thank you for joining me for the shopping vlog from Vienna. So we are in Vienna and the funny fact that building is a museum which my profile picture on YouTube is actually taken has been taken a couple of years ago, no a year ago in front of that building. So uh, some memories here. So I have been shopping here before uh, and actually I have a lovely sales assistant in Louis Vuitton and we went there on my birthday on Saturday and she gave us champagne and it was a really nice uh, day but I didn't vlog the shop uh, much I bought a couple of items just uh, like to celebrate, like to have something I will show you of course them later and I don't think I'm going to Louis Vuitton much today because I don't really have much items on my wish list and I've seen what was there so not really sure about that. I'm going to go to Gucci for sure because I've seen some new bags. I want to have a look and also to Prada. I've seen the gold crystal, the Christmas collection. Amazing. I need to have a look. Prices are insane now, honestly. I'm wearing my Prada bag actually today and I really paid for this bag 1,300 a year ago, like literally end of October 2021 and now it's 1,900. I think they just really went crazy with it, but well, it is what it is. So anyway, we are going to Prada. I'm not sure if we are going to Louis Vuitton, maybe for a quick look because I'm looking for a little agenda. Let's see where we can go and what we can do today. the bags or the type of bags that I really wanted to have a look at because I found that this new monogram embossed or actually stitched on the Gucci leather looks really cool like it gives you the monogram vibe but also a leather bag and I looked at the pink one and the green one they are both cute I also loved it, the gray version actually however uh, that's not what I need Possibly I might need that tote and I tried it and I have to tell you I really like this tote really really chic elegant and still giving you the Gucci vibe Also as usual looking at some other Gucci monogram bags I always like to look at this one, but honestly, like this is the most useless bag. It's just for decoration. And I really like this light monogram version. It, should I call it even monogram? But like, you know, the Gucci print. Uh, really nice, this one. And of course, going well with my coat. Look at this beautiful accessories. This is a pencil pouch and there is also a notebook and this adorable little plate with a bee that is supposed to hold incense. Amazing. And also this very, very bougie pen holder, which by the way, I would gladly accept as a gift, but I'm not going to spend my money on it. Here we have some of the chunky loafers. I really did like this one. Uh, it's not my style, I think I'm not going to buy them, but I really like it. And I look at this jacket, I always like look at ready to wear, even though I'm not really buying it. But it's good to have a look and admire and look at this jacket. The way it is made is just piece of art. I completely adore and understand the price of it. I decided to be very adventurous and walked into Chanel. Well, mostly because Vienna has a very good customer service, they don't look down on you and they are super helpful and super polite. So I decided to walk into Chanel and see what's in there because I never go there and actually I also feel like I should sometimes go there just for the vlogs because people like to see Chanel bags. So I went there and I tried some wallets on the chain which uh, surprisingly are not as small as I was expecting. 
and the price was around 3000 euros. Officially we are in the crystal heaven, uh, which is Prada and their gold Christmas collection. Oh my god, should I even say something? It's just amazing. I look at those tiny pieces which are of course cute and beautiful, but the price was 1100 and 1300 for this uh, square one, which is crazy. Here you are seeing me trying to show you the shine of the crystal to the best of my abilities and I think it's better to put the light down so then they give more sparkle so if you see me over this you know video playing with the uh, adjustment of exposure that's why because I think it's better to see them when it's dark they give more sparkle I like this color the periwinkle and I think the triangle back is actually not that bad idea mm, but it just barely fits my iPhone Pro Max, so um, I don't know. And here is the absolute star of the show, the Prada Gold Crystal uh, Square Bag. I don't even remember the name of it. I spent about one hour walking with this bag around the store and contemplating if I should get it or not. Because, well, the price is very steep in my opinion. 3,100 for, um, I mean, for crystal bag, maybe it's not so bad. But for a bag that is fully lined with satin inside and it's a light satin and you can stain it very easily and to be honest this one was the last one of course and it already had a scratch on the or like the, the satin was pulled inside uh, on the flap. But it's absolutely gorgeous and hypnotizing, we probably agree on that, right? I decided to add here a few clips which I took over this couple of days and two times when I walked into Louis Vuitton and I wanted to tell you mostly about how amazing customer service is in Vienna, especially in Louis Vuitton. They don't look down on you, they happily show you all the bags and they are really excited to show you the exotic bags even though they know you're not going to buy them. You look at them and they are just coming to you and say like, would you like to have a look? I was truly mind blown by the service that they were giving me and all the stories, all the history they were telling me. And we, me and my boyfriend actually were looking at this bag. So actually first I was walking by and I wanted to take a picture of it uh, behind the glass and then later my boyfriend was staring at it and the guys, they came like, oh, I would love to show you this bag it's so beautiful it's so special and i was like oh but you're closing in like 15 minutes and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i really want you to have a look at this bag i really want you to see it i was like mind blown seriously and they took all the time to put the strap on the bag and they wanted me to try this bag and see the bag on me however they said i shouldn't touch this bag because they want that the person that buys the bag is the first person that touches the bag and leaves the dna on it you know that's the real luxury service that we should be getting but it seems that luxury fashion really turned into fast fashion in most of the places sadly 
and here are just clips of Dior boutique outside because it was too late to get inside. Unfortunately, in Vienna, the shops are closed relatively early, like around 7 p.m. Everything is closed. So I couldn't get into many shops which I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Fendi as well. But I hope you still enjoy. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.